So I've just got to say straight off the bat, there's a couple of stupid things going to happen in this video. I'm going to say a couple of things and you guys are just going to shake your head and be like, how is that even possible? And we'll get to them as they sort of naturally roll around in the video. So there's a few things, I've, you know, I plan these things every day. I do video content, sneaker content for YouTube every single day. And I always plan the video, take a few notes, check out the shoe and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then just sort of like ad lib it, just sort of just roll through all the stuff that I want to talk about in the shoe. And then uh, today, you know, it's a bit like that it's just going to roll through it and we're going to kind of stumble across some idiocy on my part some absolute stupidity on my part and the thing that I'm talking about with this is it's uh, the Alan Iverson uh, Reebok question low and that's the first stupid thing is because I was like researching this right Reebok question mid Reebok question mid and then I counted the lace loops on them because Reebok question mid ha mids have uh, six lace loops and then it was only five and I was like what's going on and that's when I realized these were lows which is really really stupid to look at a shoe like this and not actually realize that it's not the mid it's the low version um, and uh, but the reason I was doing that was because Alan Iverson played for the 76ers the Philadelphia 76ers this is probably his signature shoe there's been a, a few you know um, he was uh, 25 years ago first round draft pick uh, this is 2021 so that must be 1996 so you're probably talking 96 through around about 2010 or 11 I would guess 15 years as a professional basketball player most of them spent with the Philadelphia 76ers and there are many different silhouettes many different shoes coming from Alan Iverson and the Reebok line but this one I think is probably the mid variant is probably his signature shoe um, and it's uh, in the Phillies colors today the light blue and the maroon for the Phillies colors, which is the baseball team out of Philadelphia, not the basketball team. And that got me thinking about uh, Otani over at the Los Angeles uh, Angels. Uh, and the thing is, and this is the stupidest thing, the, the st stupid thing number one uh, was I didn't realize that these were lows instead of mids. And that, that's pretty stupid. But mega stupid thing number two is I didn't realize that the Angels played in Los Angeles. I, I, was, I don't know why I thought they were like somewhere like Sydney. Cincinnati or something like that um, and uh, you know obviously I'm not American I'm British uh, and I've lived out here in Japan for like 22 years neither of those two countries have particularly large ties to American sports so maybe that's a good enough reason not to know that the Angels play out of Los Angeles but being here in Japan Otani is huge over here and huge in the States right now uh, and we're shooting this on Sunday night it's Sunday the 11th I think and the All-Star Week is coming and the uh, Home Run Derby and stuff like that. Uh, by the time you're watching that, that's already probably happened. I don't know if Otani has blasted it out of the park like he has done for the first half of the season. But when I was looking at this shoe and I was thinking about this, it's a tribute to the Phillies. Uh, that's the East Coast team, the Philadelphia Phillies baseball team. And that made me think about uh, baseball, you know, and uh, what's going on in baseball right now in Otani, big in Japan here big in baseball right now and then that you know, I, was, I was researching this where are the angels Los Angeles angels and I was like what I didn't even know that that's so stupid um, and he's on the news every single day here so that, that's why it's even more ridiculous I didn't know that but parking all that just a couple more little sporty things before we get into the shoe number one is the Wimbledon finals happening right now which is big news the men's final uh, is big news in its uh, you know on its own but more important than that is that yeah, you probably know that the Wimbledon final is coming right before the Euro 20 20 finals so I don't know how England versus Italy has turned out because it hasn't happened yet but again by the time you're watching this it will already have happened so uh, fingers crossed uh, personally born in London England so supporting England without any shadow of a doubt but you know whichever team you're supporting I hope uh, you have a good final now into the shoe uh, like I said it's the Phillies colorway and what we're talking about is light blue maroon and white uh, quick search again on Google uh, to look at what the Phillies uniforms are and according to Google this is not uh, the color colors of their home or away kits this is one of their alternate kits like their third or fourth kit so it's not their home and away kit I don't know the history of the Phillies I don't know if maybe this was one of their primary kits back in the day uh, back when maybe Alan Iverson was signing for the 76ers um, but right now according to what I researched this is one of their alternate kits but it's still the light blue and the maroon is the main thing to look at and we'll get into some of those details 
on the shoe right now. I'm going to jump in with my favourite part, uh, which I've already talked about, which is the lace loops on these guys. Bit disappointed, to be honest, uh, especially when you have something like the mid. And um, we'll throw up the two most recent things that I've done. And uh, the first one is the Power Rangers, which is a very interesting shoe. The Mega Zord. Uh, I think Reebok question me, Mega Zord. Mega Zord. Um, and uh, they have, the, like I said, the six lace loops going on down there. But the thing to look for in them is whether or not they have unique branding or not. And uh, and then we'll bring up the uh, classic blues. It wasn't, it was legend blues. That was it, the legend blue lows. Um, and then back to today's shoe, especially the lace loops on there. Um, and those lace loops can have um, different designs in them and have this unique stuff put into them. There was a, it was uh, the Allen Iverson uh, celebrating 25 years since he was a first round draft pick. Uh, they brought out uh, a variant of the question mid uh, to represent the balls, the lottery balls that they use for the draft draw. And in there, in the, the laces on the lace loops uh, down the lacing system on there, it said the word Reebok, which is not unusual, but the O in Reebok was uh, different to all the other letters in the um, the patterning on there to represent that circle of the uh, the lottery ball. So I was looking for something like that on these. I thought there might be something in there to do with Philadelphia or the Phillies or something like that. Absolutely nothing. It's just the Reebok branding running all the way down the lace locks on there. So I was kind of a little bit disappointed in that. What I wasn't disappointed in was the material on these guys so hopefully we can zoom in somewhere on that beautiful maroon toe or on the light blue upper and see that the materials going into these guys are very high quality and very beautiful and very smooth uh, and a good place to do that would probably be on the mid foot branding which is the thing to look out for on the question mids or question lows and in the case of these guys uh, they're in the white stitched outline and then the color behind that to give a definition against the, the light blue upper and it's not too far to go down to the mid sole on then uh, and have a look at the hexalite air unit that uh, runs through these guys and gives you that padding that softness there uh, what i really like about this is it's a white midsole and it's a white hexalite unit but within that hexalite little unit the outline of each hexagon is done in maroon i think that's kind of a neat way to sort of break up the whiteness of the midsole and that midsole air unit and then it's not too far to go to my favorite thing on uh, question mids or lows uh, is the heel love the heel on these guys especially for two things number one and what you'll be looking at right now is the white Q inside the maroon branding panel and this is sort of circle and then down in the bottom corner of the circle is the Reebok branding which is supposed to represent a capital Q the letter Q uh, for question in case these guys lows uh, so that's a really nice detail but even nicer than that is if you drop right down to the bottom of the heel you see that number three there again this is something they can play with on those power rangers uh, they flipped this out completely didn't even have a number on there but in uh, the case of these guys they've got that classic number three to go with Alan Iverson's shirt number and if I remember rightly it's a white three with a purple and maroon outline on a light blue background surrounded by maroon. I think, if I remember rightly, that's an awful lot to sort of get through. I don't even need to be that detailed about it because you can have a look at it on the green screen here and you see that three down low on uh, the bottom end of that heel there. And then it's not a great shot, but at least you get an idea of what's going on on the outsole from this picture here. And you can see it's done in that maroon. And for sure, I would imagine if you flip them upside down, there might be some translucence in there and you definitely see some Reebok branding towards the four foot of these guys. Uh, and I think that pretty much wraps up the whole shoe and um, what I wanted to get out of it today. I uh, just try to rack my brain to see if there's anything missing from my uh, my comments, but I don't think so. So um, we'll just wrap this one up and just uh, finish it off. Uh, two sort of silly things, like I said, not realizing these were lows instead of mids and not knowing that uh, the Angels play out of Los Angeles were my two big boo in the uh, video today. But I don't mind bringing that kind of sort of um, bumps in the road to you guys as much as the quality stuff as well. I think it's good to be authentic. Uh, but what I have to do right now it's like we're way well late at night on Sunday uh, and I'm out here in Japan and that means that the football kicks off the soccer kicks off at 4 a.m uh, so I need to get some sleep before getting up early in the morning to see the European final so I'm gonna wrap this one up thank you guys for checking out the content and all that's left for me to do is thank you uh, for doing this every single day but because I do it every single day I get to say the same thing which is that uh, you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow